Hello and welcome to Graphastic. This is me Fazila Ali Ahmed and today we will learn to create half text head portrait in Adobe Photoshop. So, let's get started. First, go to the file and open the image you want to use for this effect. Select the quick selection tool and select the face. To deselect, click the area while holding down the Alt button. Click the Refine Edges button. From here, select View option as Overlay if it is not already selected. Select the brush and refine the edges. From here, select the new layer and click OK. Zoom it out. Right click the layer and convert it into smart object. Select the layer and press Ctrl T and resize the head while holding down the shift button so it remains proportionate. Now press Ctrl R to show the ruler and drag the vertical guide from ruler to the center of face. Select the rectangle mark key tool and draw a rectangle on left side of the face. Create mask and invert it using shortcut Ctrl I. Now make a copy of this layer by Ctrl J. Click on the mask and invert it using Ctrl I. Select the type tool and click on the left side of the face and write your message. Ctrl T and resize the text. The text need to be edited as it's not readable. Double click the text layer. Go to the windows and open character window. Manage the space between two lines. Again, press Ctrl T and resize the text. After you're done, click the tick or you can click enter. I'm doing a few more changes here. You can do it as you wish it to look like. Move the text layer between the layers with mask. Right click the layer above it and make the clipping mask of it. Now delete the background layer and add a new layer. Select the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle. Change the color to what you want to. If you want to add the effect on face now, you can do it. Just click the layer thumbnail with face and select the black and white color adjustment. Repeat the same process for the other layer with face thumbnail. We are done with the half text face portrait effect. That's all for today. Hope you like it and learn from it too. If you find this video helpful, hit the like button. And do subscribe my channel as I'm gonna upload more videos that will help you grow. If you have any queries, feel free to contact either on Instagram, Facebook or you can also comment here. I will catch you in the next video. Happy learning!